Snappy Tomato Pizza Skyhawk Talk with uh, Coach Kevin McMillan, UT Martin, coming off the game against Christian Brothers uh, this past week. Uh, two games this week, taking on Belmont at 7 Friday in the Elam Center and then hosting Air Force on Sunday. Coach, let's go back. A lot of fans at the Christian Brothers game. You win that one, 96-42. Uh, you talked about in Skyhawk Talk a week ago that the guards had come in and they looked a little better and stronger. Boy, did they. You were, I mean, not just better, but stronger and quicker, and, and we really seem to have improved at a position where I thought it would be difficult to improve. They, they are better, and it's what we've talked about uh, since we've got back in school, that uh, we didn't necessarily need to be better at the guard position. It's great that we are, but uh, it's, the, it's the post play, it's the four and five positions that are, are the big question marks, and we're looking for somebody to take some ownership of that. Uh, we saw some players back in the lineup. Uh, Paige Smith, it's been a while. She had three points, played a little bit. Heather Griffin really getting her feet under her in a game in front of people for the first time, too. Yeah, Paige played again two years ago with the, in, the, in our first year. And uh, when, when we were down to 11 kids, we, we called her, and uh, she's back with us, which is great. And then uh, Griffin got to get some minutes and kind of see what the difference was and from uh, high school to, to college. So, you know. Hopefully those kids will contribute for us down the road. Uh, you know, right now we just we're looking for some answers for uh, a lot of questions. I liked what you did in that game, and you told us you're going to play a lot of lineups. Uh, your goal was to get a certain amount of minutes for every player, and when you look down at the minutes played, each player got between 13 and 25 minutes. The, the goal was between 12 and 25, and uh, we were at the second half. We were probably a lot more paying attention to the minutes played than anything else. Uh, because we wanted to see some people per- have a chance to perform, uh, see them out there a little longer with the lights on, and and uh, watch what they would do. And and we got, but, you know, but we got as many questions raised as we did answers, which just seems to be typical. Yeah, correct. You were up fifty six nineteen, and we have all these questions. But, that, <laughs> but that's you. I mean, I, I, <laughs> uh, uh, in the game, twenty eight three points, uh, three pointers attempted. Uh, because they gave us that, or just going to be our style? And I know we got a lot of players who can shoot the three this year. Yeah, I think that's what we do. I mean, we just shoot it. Um, in practice, we talk. You know, if you have a good looking shot and you pass it up, you you usually get pulled out. So if uh, if they get an open look, they're going to put it up, and and just about anybody can shoot it. So there's there's a lot of green lights out there. Uh, rebounding numbers: Taylor Hall at eight. Uh, Jaclissa continues to impress me. She's a good rebounder. Uh, one of the best in the conference, yes. uh, without question. She's one of the best in the conference. And and she doesn't really do it with strength. She just has great timing and gets in there and mixes it up. She's just one of those kids that knows how to rebound. And, uh, you know, invaluable to us being able to play guards is that she will go get enough rebounds that lets us get away with it. How much does it help you as a team when a guard can rebound? Uh, well, it's on this team, when you've got guards rebounding with Butler and Newsom as small as they are, it, it, it's a necessity. Uh, on most every team, though, you're gonna, it's going to be a big plus. But for us, it's an absolute necessity. Again, your style of play and this team going to be fun to watch. I mean, it's one of those teams that fans are going to kind of fall in love with because you hustle, you shoot the three, you get up and down the floor, and you play hard. We do. Uh, I, just, uh, I think there is, again, some, some questions about it, but the basic way that we're going to play is exactly what you said. We're going to shoot the three. We're going to get up and down the floor because that's our strength. Uh, we, we're just looking for some players that will anchor us, I guess you could say, and uh, and we just haven't had those answers yet. But you know, we're, you know, we're go- we're guard heavy, and we're going to play to those guards, and and they are fun to watch. Uh, they share the ball. You know, you could see. I mean, I think we had twenty something assists, twenty six yeah. assists, well, thirty three field goals. Yes, I mean that's twenty six assists on thirty three field goals. You don't see that today in today's game. Today's game, you see. 33 field goals and 10 assists right. and uh, yeah. you know everybody does everything with the ball well we like to share it and, and people enjoy watching that I mean I you know I would not want to sit there and watch it any other way so <laughs> I guess that's why we, we, we watched you a couple of years ago and it was oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, let me ask you this I, I went back and I, your wife's not here anymore is she paying no she left well thank tell her thank you I was lucky enough to get some pictures from the team's run last year and in that, uh, there were pictures going all the way back to the trip to Canada. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was interesting looking at those pictures and how well the team seemed to have chemistry even then. Even though there were questions on what was going on on the floor, it seemed like off the floor they liked each other. 
you look back, you're a year and months away from what happened then. How important was that trip to this team right now? Uh, right today? Yeah. Uh, well, or that's even a good in, question. in the I whole thought evolution. About I mean, that looked to me like you guys, huge you guys year. bonded. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, but that allowed you to get to where you are now, kind of. Mm -hmm. I think we've grown up. Um, you know, we were working on some stuff last week, and, and uh, Coach Russell said something about they already know a lot of it. And I think that Canada trip was a almost, uh, it might not have been a season, but it may have been like a half a season that we had an advantage. And I mean, I still think we're getting benefits from that trip uh, today, but. Uh, you know, when you're playing as many young kids, you want every chance to get together as you can. That was a, I mean, it really, it was a huge thing for us. Yeah, and, and, and you do team building things that have nothing to do with basketball to mm -hmm. ultimately help you on the basketball court. Well, I mean, my philosophy or the style or whatever you want to call it is that uh, if you care about the person that you're next to enough, you're going to, you'll do whatever you have to do to help them. And, the way you find that stuff out is not on the floor. It's when you get to know them off the floor and know what makes them tick. Uh, you know, I like to know a lot about the kids because if I know what Chris Brinkley likes and doesn't like, I feel like I can handle Chris Brinkley better on the basketball court. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't only like me because I like naps, but keep going. Yeah, but we could, you know, we could put you in for free throws and uh, then pull you back out before the free throws made or something like that. But, uh, but, no, it, but, but no, that's important to you. It's it's is it more important in women's basketball than it is in the men's game? I don't think it's any more important in any any sport or any to any team sport. I think it's equally as important. I think the difference is is how much credence you give to its importance. Okay. Uh, you know, it's kind of one of those things that we get caught up in uh, X's and O's and people think that, you know, coaching is – well, coaching, maybe we talked about this. We did. Here we go, Chris. You and I are starting on, down the road. Coaching is underrated and overrated all at the same time. Uh, it's overrated in that people think that what we do on Saturday for football or for uh, Saturday in soccer or Friday night or something, they think that we have that major of an impact in that game, and we truly don't. Uh, it's underrated in what goes on off the floor where people don't have any idea what you're, how you're molding a team when you're going, walking from the weight room to the locker room. Right. And, the, you know, the, I mean, so it's, it's, just, it's just how much emphasis you put on it. And to me, that's kind of the key to your whole season. What I see with your team and the fans see it too, watch the players on the Skyhawk women's team who are on the bench watching the players in the game. And I think that gives you an idea of how much they buy into the team concept and are paying attention to what's going on and rooting for their teammates. Well, they they get that because when we watch film, which we don't watch very often, yeah. uh, the first thing that I start pointing out is the people sit, that are sitting on the bench that aren't playing. Yeah, I'm like, no, what are you doing? I mean, your teammate here just took a charge, and you're sitting over and didn't even clap. I mean, well, that's ridiculous. So, I mean, I'll spend half an hour talking about bench players. Well, and, well and I can believe that. Cause I do. Know, I, I really do. Reed, I promise. Reedy took a charge and the whole bench oh, I guarantee ran the you, I guarantee you. They, they, we really talk about, uh, you know, it's really be the best player, person, fan, team member that you can be. So, I mean, what, what do you want the people on the bench doing when you do something good? And so we try to say, okay, then you're going to have to do it for them. And. It's trying to make people responsible for yeah. each other. And I think it's important. I think it gets the fans into it. I, I mean, yeah, I, if the players on the sideline are that excited, the fans better The fans kind of have to, you yeah, know. They don't really have a choice. And it's also the flip. If the fans really get into it, the players really get into it. That's true. And I think that's somewhere the fans don't realize that how big of a factor that they are in, uh, in a football game, in a basketball game. I mean, they just don't realize how big a deal that they really are. And I've called our fans out on not being not supportive, but just being a little lazy in the crowd. We, I tell you what, we, we have a strange group of fans. We really do. We have the largest group of fans in the OVC, not even close. I mean, it's really not close. The only one that you could say was close would be Murray. The problem with that is Murray takes attendance at the beginning of the men's at the game. end of the men, women's game. Right. Well, I mean, you can't do that because all the, men are, the men's game people are filling it up. Uh, but our crowds are huge, but they are, they're very quiet. Very casual. They're laid back. They're kind of like me, and I'm like, wait a minute, you can't do that. You've got to get into it. But when they do get into it, it's, you know, I still have the Tech game from two years ago, and Wedley made the shot, and that may have been the loudest. Yeah. 
that I have heard that arena, and it's on film, and it really was amazing, and it, the, the crowd was definitely a factor in that one. I, I, I kind of describe it, for those of you who follow the NBA, we're kind of like a Laker crowd. We're, we're kind of yes. really cool. We are. We're not a Knicks crowd. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're, we're a Laker crowd. And but, but the Knicks crowd will boo their own team. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't want a Knicks crowd. We'll take the Lake. You know, the game's not, you know, let's wait till the final, you know, the, either either playoffs or the final five minutes. That's the, yeah, that's the important go. time. Tell us about the games this week we face Belmont Friday. Belmont uh, is picked in the middle or top of the uh, Atlantic Sun and have, you know, we played them last year and we beat them at their place, but they were missing their, their best player, uh, they were, their post player that's an all all conference player mm-hmm. uh, wasn't there, and so she'll be there, and that'll cause us all kinds of fits because she's their best players are post player, and, and right now that's where our questions are. Um, they've also got two really good guards, uh, so I mean Belmont's a team that uh, that's going to be very good. They're going to be in the OVC next year. So, and what you hate about it is that they have eight newcomers and we have none. And it's the first game of the season, and so all they got to do is go get film from last year, and they'll know exactly everything that we have and everything that we do, and we have no idea what they'll do. I mean, zero. So, I mean, that, that bothers you a little bit. And then on Sunday, we've got Air Force coming in, uh, which will be a, a 2 o'clock ball game with, uh, with Air Force. And, you know, that's, a, that's just a fun – for me, that's a fun game just because you, you, you're very respectful of uh, those military kids. And, you know, going out there last year – it and listening to the national anthem, I promise you, I don't know that I've ever really heard the national anthem till we were out in Colorado and they played it with those cadets and they were there. And so it was really, really neat and the girls enjoyed it. And so that'll be really fun on Sunday. Okay, that's uh, Friday night, Belmont, the opponent at 7 at the Elam Center. And then Sunday at 2, Air Force comes to town, come out and support the UT Martin women's team and, and support Air Force too, as Coach said. Uh, those student athletes have a little bit uh, more going on than, than some uh, at other colleges. Oh, they so, do. They yeah. do everything that the all the cadet, other cadets do, and they play basketball. So I mean, it's uh, so conditioning is not an issue. No, you're not going to run them in the ground. <laughs> all right. Thank you, coach, and we'll talk to you Friday. All right.